tonight. Of course, joining us uh, this evening as well is the council out of the Philippine Counselor's Office is Edgar Oxillian, and uh, he's here with us. Thank you for joining us. Well, thank you very much for inviting me over to this program, uh, Jess. It's, you know, it's, it's a great pleasure. You to, know, it's, to it's be fantastic here. to have you here, and, and of course, uh, alongside Leah Beth, a good friend of mine from, from years back. Council, uh, earlier we were talking about, of course, the Philippine independence, and at one point it was celebrated, kind of like the U.S. was celebrating on July 4th. It, it, it changed years back, but you're celebrating, commemorating actually the actual independence from the colonial powers of Spain, right? Uh, that's correct. It used to be celebrated on uh, July 4th, mm -hmm. but uh, sometime in 1964, mm -hmm. uh, during the time of then President Justado Macapagal, mm -hmm. they passed the Republic Act number 4166 mm -hmm. on August 4, 1964, mm -hmm. upon the advice of uh, the historians and uh, the at the time, nationalists, huh? mm -hmm. they, they wanted to change the date uh, of our independence day. That's why they, they passed the law. And uh, from then on, they, we, we, were, we are celebrating our independence day on June 12th. Uh, June and 12th. July 4th mm -hmm. became... Uh, Republic Day, right? Or something? Uh, or? Right. Uh, <laughs> Philippine-American <laughs> Friendship Day. Friendship. Okay. Okay. Now, now let, let, me, let me go back here. In, in, the, in, in regards to celebration of independence, how, how important is it, uh, you know, the plight of the Philippine over the years in, in getting their independence from from colonial powers and and of course in celebration it's the celebration of, of that how important of a country and uh, you think your country has prospered uh, in regards to the independence not necessarily from the colonial powers of uh, of say of, uh, of of spain but under the auspices i guess of i guess united states well of course uh, for us uh, well not just for the filipinos mm -hmm. but for any country for that mm -hmm. matter mm -hmm. independence is indeed a very important occasion and mm -hmm. an important uh, thing to celebrate mm -hmm. for us filipinos again mm -hmm. i would like to emphasize uh, june 12 mm -hmm. that's the day of our pro proclamation mm -hmm. of our independence mm -hmm. from the spanish colonial power mm -hmm. uh, which date back in, uh, dates mm -hmm. back in uh, uh, 1898 june mm -hmm. 12 no mm -hmm. well of course uh, uh, we were the first uh, country in Asia to, mm -hmm. to become uh, a republic, and mm -hmm. we, we take great pride in, mm -hmm. uh, in being uh, yeah. such a country. Yeah, and, and, and one of the reasons why I ask you that, Council, is, is this. I mean, of, of course, Guam, I mean, the governor is very adamant about getting our plebiscite uh, done here within the next couple of years, and I'm not going to ask you to comment on that, <laughs> but, 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 but the fact, remain, but, but fact remains that uh, you know the importance of, 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 of say, our island uh, to determine its political status, right? Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. yes, yeah. <laughs> That's how it goes. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, you know, the, the 12th, the 12th of, uh, of, of, of June, actually, now is the commemoration of, of Philippine Independence Day. The, the flag ceremony, I think, uh, when I was senator, I know we, we used to go up to the council, the, the Philippine Council's office, and that was flag, flag uh, raising ceremony. I, I think that was before what you came to the council. you mean? Or uh, was no, it no, the ANSA celebration? No, no, it it's wasn't the ANSA. In the Philippine oh, also Independence, the Independence Day it, in the this, past, yes. Yeah, in the past used to be at the... At the uh, Philippine Council's office, the flag raising ceremony there. This time it's going to be at the at the, the at the Reef Hotel. Yeah. Okay. Well, normally our I mean, practice uh, in our uh, foreign posts abroad, so mm -hmm. uh, be it at the embassy or the mm -hmm. consulate. Normally we we, mm -hmm. we we do that in the embassy grounds or the consulate mm -hmm. grounds. Mm -hmm. grounds no? But of course, uh, we're quite happy to have mm -hmm. Guam Reef to uh, offer us mm -hmm. uh, the the venue, the venue. Mm -hmm. and I think it's uh, we we, are, we welcome that. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, offer, in mm -hmm. fact, because we want also the Filipino community to, to join us in this celebration, yeah. because now, when we do that there, sure. it's quite a limited space. Now, give us a, a, a bit of an idea what the consulate office does here in Guam versus, say, an embassy in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a, a country. Yeah. Yeah. Well, basically, the difference is uh, we at the Philippine Consulate General mm -hmm. uh, are basically in charge of delivering consular services, okay. Okay. whereas our embassy is in charge of the political, the economic, Mm -hmm. uh, aside from the consular services also. No? Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. sometimes uh, there are also things uh, like we do observe, uh, we do report, make reports on economic development, say, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, here on mm -hmm. or uh, uh, about uh, our respective posts, wherever we are assigned. Sure, brother. sure, sure. So that's part of our responsibility mm -hmm. to, to monitor uh, economic developments, political developments in our area of responsibility. Uh, I mean, but I, I our, main, our main job really is to mm -hmm. deliver consular services. Consular services. Including assistance to nationals, of course. Oh, okay. Uh, like, for example, na na nationals, but also, say, because we have a, a great deal of, of H2 workers. Right. And the the oncoming, or at the, at the time, the, the talked about big military buildup, yes. uh, a great portion of, of, the, uh, of uh, the workers were, again, 
were supposed to come from from the Philippines, and right. so your office would have been very busy. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> we want to take we want to take advantage mm -hmm. of that opportunity for mm -hmm. for our uh, sure. Filipino workers sure, sure. Uh, to be hired mm -hmm. here on Guam. Yeah. We know for a fact that uh, there's a great uh, need for us, and mm -hmm. uh, we we are happy that Guam uh, do recognize mm -hmm. uh, the, the skills, skills of uh, our Filipino mm -hmm. uh, workers. No? Yeah, and also okay. they they provide mm -hmm. whenever there's there are new. Uh, uh, immigrants to Guam, mm -hmm. they provide um, a workshop mm -hmm, mm -hmm. on assimilation, mm -hmm. sort of a That's workshop. right. We call it the post-arrival orientation seminar. Sure, we just had sure. one uh, recently, last uh, May 27, if I remember mm -hmm. the date correctly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, actually, we, we've got uh, second, third, fourth generation Filipinos here here, mm -hmm. here now. Oh, yes. Yeah. Like and, uh, you know, as uh, how long have you been in Guam now? Uh, well, I arrived September 30 last okay, year. Okay, last year. Okay. So, so, so you had an opportunity to meet all the different organizations here, and, and uh, you, 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 you've met <laughs> all the national, but but you've also met the 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 uh, the generation who ha were born here, who are Americanized, who are Guamanians, yes. uh, yes. uh, Filipinos that are Guamanians basically, right. and and now. Uh, Having Common maybe, leaders. yeah, and maybe having now to, to learn the language. <laughs> yes, uh, we're, we're, we're quite happy, and uh, mm -hmm. in f as a matter of fact, I'm I'm quite impressed with the support and uh, the the show of unity and mm -hmm. cooperation of the Filipinos here mm -hmm. on the island. Yeah. Now. And uh, nothing in my uh, previous post have mm -hmm. I uh, never had I experienced that, but. It's a different kind of. Uh, and that's what I was going to ask because prior spirit. prior to coming here, I think you were once in Germany. That's yeah, you, right. You were, you were a, a council in, in Germany. Yes. Of and how so? How does that compare the organizations? You said uh, you've never experienced the the cohesiveness of of, uh, of the Filipino community here uh, um, there as you you do here. What what is what is the difference? You've got Filipinos all over the place. All over. <laughs> yeah. Two million of us. All over. I mean. Uh, well, it's all in the U.S. I don't, I don't want to compare. Uh, in terms of size, of course, uh, yeah, Guam sure, is uh, sure, sure. Uh, <clears throat> a bit smaller <laughs> compared sure, to sure, Germany. Sure. But it's quite widespread mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. in terms of uh, So maybe the communication is not, maybe not as often as maybe is here. Uh, uh, right, yeah, right. Yeah, okay. But, well, uh, in terms of number, we have mm -hmm. quite uh, a lot. In fact, mm -hmm. as a matter of fact, uh, we have more uh, Filipino communities or associations or organizations mm -hmm. in Germany compared sure, sure. Uh, to here on the island, and uh, uh, they're quite uh, very cooperative mm -hmm. also and very supportive of each other's activities, just yeah. like here mm -hmm. on the island, mm -hmm. but uh, they're closely knit, I must say, mm -hmm. and, uh, but the difference as far as, uh, uh, as, as, far as I understand, mm -hmm. here, uh, here on the island of Guam, Filipinos, Filipino organizations, sometimes would discuss and would have different views of certain issues and they just tackle issues as they are mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, without you know trying to mix up the personal you know mm -hmm. they, they don't uh, really uh, put into the, uh, the picture the personal differences or mm -hmm. how, how do I explain that one uh, I must say they, they know how to differentiate the issue from what is uh, personal from from okay, the so, you, so, so you, can, you can discuss the issue itself as opposed to getting to say, well, I, well, I, I don't like your lipstick. <laughs> 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 so the issue, the issue will be the, the, the topic at, at hand as opposed mm -hmm. to getting, you know, so I'm going to win, I, I'm going to win this debate by telling you your lipstick doesn't yeah. look good on you. <laughs> that, yeah. that, that type thing, right? Okay. Yes. Uh, now let, let's let's go back again to to uh, to uh, the um, Philippine independence and the importance and and the you say you monitor economic development and things like that. What do you foresee in the future between uh, again uh, our between our island here? I, I like to I like to say our country, but we're really not a country at this point. We're an island. Uh, Guam and the Philippines. What do you see in 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 the very near future versus maybe long term? Well, uh, this is my personal mm -hmm. view, sure. and uh, I hope uh, my my other colleagues in the mm -hmm. consulate would share me. I, I look forward to a more uh, to a closer relationship between uh, mm -hmm. the Philippines and Guam mm -hmm. because of the new. Uh, uh, developments here in the island. Mm -hmm. We see that many Filipinos here are becoming more active. Mm -hmm. They try to show their leadership capabilities uh, all the more now, mm -hmm. maybe uh, more than before, and mm -hmm. we're quite happy with the result. And they're, they're trying to really get involved into the uh, almost all activities here, mm -hmm. being in the cultural field, political, economic, uh, here mm -hmm. on the island. Mm -hmm. And they're trying to, you know, 
uh, link uh, Guam with the Philippines. And we also see uh, an increasing number of uh, local government units. Mm -hmm. uh, I refer to the different mayors coming to the island to mm -hmm. establish uh, sure. uh, twinnings or mm -hmm. sister relationship mm -hmm. with uh, uh, the villages here in, mm -hmm. uh, in Guam. Now, now th there's, there's uh, and we got to close here, but as, as you know, every uh, cabinet, are you guys considered cabinet members of the Aquino administration? Oh, we're not. We're not. Uh, okay. we're career or career. professional uh, okay. diplomats. Uh, so, so you don't serve at the pleasure of the of the of the current administration, then? Uh, as, career sort of? officers, <laughs> as career yeah. officers, as career officers, of course, we have a security of tenure, but sure. uh, that depends on the position we are uh, sure. we are uh, holding. Yeah? So okay. Ambassadors, as yeah. diplomats, mm -hmm. of course, sure, sure. we consider them uh, alter egos of uh, <laughs> the president, and there sometimes, or well, oftentimes, they mm -hmm. uh, they have, of course, to. Uh, and, and sometimes it's a crossover. Right, that's right. <laughs> anyway, hey, Council, we got to go, but thank you very much, and happy uh, Philippine independence. And thank you know, you I'm going to ask you to come in here again, because I, I want to talk more about what the office does and, and more about the future between Guam and, and the Philippines, and, and what do you foresee? I'd like to have you there again. Okay? Sure. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hey, we'll that's going to do it for this version yeah. of The Buzz. Join me tomorrow morning. This is 63, your tomorrow radio station, for more Buzz on, on radio this time. Good night.